Hello. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use Melo Payment as a beginner. So the first thing I'd like you to do is to launch your Melo Payment web site application. So here you go. So this is my web application. And of course, this is my account. So you won't be able to access all that Melo Payment has to offer if you do not create an account. And how do you create an account? It's pretty much easy. All right, you can launch any browser of your choice. Right now, I'm actually using Chrome. So from your browser, check the top corner of your screen, you're gonna find the search bar. In the search bar, type Melo Payment. It's going to take you to the official website. Now, in MeloPayment.com, you will now be able to create an account at the top right corner where you're going to see Get Started. So click on that and follow through with all of the processes to create an account. Once you are done, creating an account is going to take you to this fantastic homepage, which I like to call the dashboard, where you can now, of course, navigate through a lot of features to have a great experience on Melio Payment. Okay, so now that we're here, let's, of course, let's hop in. So how do you use Melio Payment as a beginner? First off, you need to know what Melio Payment is about. Now, Melio Payment, with Melio Payment, you can definitely pay your vendors. Now, it's pretty much easier for you to schedule payment on Melio Payment and, of course, manage all the payments, manage your bills. It's pretty much easier for you to manage your bills, manage how much money goes out of your business to pay vendors, to pay customers. It's just it's just the, um, a payment platform or the perfect payment platform for vendors. All right. So you don't have to always think of the process of, you know, who do I send? Who do I send money to? How is money leaving me? And all of this stuff. On Melio Payment, you can definitely manage all of that and keep track of each all of the processes. So here we are. And right here, there are not too much features. All right. So it's pretty much a very excited and simple user interface. So we're just going to get right into it. So the first thing right here in the left corner, you're going to find, um, here you go, the pay. So right here in pay, if you can see, actually click on that pay and, and then it's opened up this window. Now here it says inbox. Okay. So add a bill, choose how to get pay, choose how to pay and schedule or deliver date. Your um, vendor gets paid however they want. And this is scheduled, all right? This is um, for payments that have actually been scheduled. So this is where you're going to get all of your scheduled payments. So here it says you have no scheduled bills. So you can schedule your bills here and you'll be good to go. And this is paid. Now, this is for, like, if you have paid any bill, you've paid any vendor or you've settled any vendor financially, this is where they're all going to be, okay? And here you have um, forward your invoices to this email. We'll scan automatically at them as bills. It takes a few minutes. All right, so if you click on that, and that's just going to be it. So this is a customized email for your store. And of course, this is my my company's name and any stores. And then all these are just extra features. So now the next is vendors. Of course, after going over all of these features, we're going to go back to see how we can use each of them. All right, so this is add your first vendor and say save vendor details and your preferred way to get paid. So... Um, Melo Payment actually gives vendors the voice. You know, they amplify your voices. So they can tell you how to get paid. You don't determine how you want to pay them. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. And then the next thing is get paid. So here you get it's a get paid menu way. Now connect your bank account and send a payment request to receive invoice payments quickly for free. So if you want to get paid or if you want to say you can get paid, all right, all you need to do is to just start getting paid, connect your account to your bank account, your middle payment account, you get to your own bank account so that you can start receiving money from middle payments. Of course, with all of this um, description right here, connect your bank account and send a payment request to receive invoice payments quickly for free. And then the next we have right here is customers. Now, in this customers page, as you can see, this is send payment request by adding customer details. So here you can definitely add your customer details, send payment request to them, asking that they should pay the money or pay you some money. So apart from you just paying vendors, you can also receive some amount of payment from your customers. And this is how you can get that done. And then next is settings right here in the settings window. You can see you have your profile information, company settings, manage collaborations. All of these things are editable. So you can edit it to whatever you want. This email notifications, you can definitely, of course, tweak a notification to what exactly you want and then you have support if you need support go ahead and click on that and 
that's going to good. So if you have something that you're not clear with or you have an issue and you need support, you can go ahead and visit the support decks through that. So now let's get started. So this is pay. So head over to pay, all right? And this is it. This is inbox and this is scheduled pay. Let's see how we can definitely schedule the payment. So go ahead and click on the schedule the payment. Now it says, takes you to this point where it says add a bill to pay. Now add a bill or invoice, however you like, and schedule the payments. Now you can add a bill manually or upload a bill file and or simply click books, however you want it to be. So here, let's say add a bill manually. So here you're going to have to enter the um, vendor name. Once you have typed the vendor name in here, you can now type the amount that you want to pay the vendor. And now you can say, how do you want this to go out? Is it one time or monthly or weekly? Let's say monthly because your company runs some kind of organization um, that you guys pay. Um, your company is an organization that pays you monthly. So this is the bill number so you're gonna have to type the amount that you're gonna pay and number of payments up to 24 monthly payments and then first payment to arrive on you're gonna have to type that in and then note to self this is very optional all right so if you want to add a note you can add a note to self you can see let's say i'm paying this vendor for office expenses or i'm paying this vendor for um or i'm paying the janitor for cleaning the office or whatever you want to do so that's that's pretty much it and then go ahead and click on save and schedule payment and tada you'll be good to go that'll be it so we're gonna have to go back and okay you can also use this upload a b file if you have any pdf invoice of your bill and you want to just upload it go ahead and click on that and you'll be asked to upload any or you can sync with quickbooks if you want to go through with the option all of those options are self-explanatory so i'm going all the way back and it's going to take me right back to my home page so right here, this is my homepage from back. So this is vendors. So click on vendors. Let's see how we can, yeah, add vendors. So add your first vendor. And how do you do that? Go ahead and click on this add vendors button. Now here we go in this first one. It says vendors company name. Click on the, the vendors company name and then the vendors full name. And then click on the email, type the email. This is also optional. And then the phone number of the vendor, which is also optional. So let's say the vendor company name, I have, um, Amy new and um, email like I said this is all of these are just really optional okay this let's work with it then and then the contacts full name and then the email address all of this thank you thank you for that so go ahead and click on save vendor and add a bill or save vendor and close let's say save vendor and close so I'll say new system laundry LLC added to your contact. So here it goes. So this is my vendor. If I want to see my vendor, just go ahead and click on vendors. And this is it. So if I want to add a new bill, I can go ahead and click on add a new bill. And that's going to be it. So this is get paid. And how do you get paid? You're going to have to add a payment method. Go ahead and click on start getting paid. And this is Melio. That's the company. And click on continue. And um, upload your business logo. Skip now. to do that later. And then you have to, of course, your company legal details, your legal business name, your legal business address, your tax ID, and your tax ID number, and then click on continue. And then once you click on continue, then you're going to be asked to add your or connect your bank accounts to Melio so that you can definitely start receiving your payment. So I'm going all the way back. As you can see, all of this process is a self explanatory And then this is customers, which is actually going to be the last thing we're going to have to analyze today so add your first customer now click on this add customers button like i said if you want to receive um payments from customers and you just want to get you want to save their names or you just want to have keep tabs with them just go ahead and click on type the customer's name customer's company's name and then con contacts full name and then the email which is optional and then the phone number which is optional and then just go ahead and click on add customer so let's say customer's company name i'm just gonna have to click on amy mac and all of these things this is really optional so that's not even a valid number now go ahead and click on add customer and this customer will be successfully added so here it goes as Amy Mac. So whatever you want to do with Amy Mac, go ahead and click on this three dots menu and then follow up with the options. You can now edit contact or you can delete contact. So this is if you want to add more, go ahead and click on this plus icon and you'll be able to add customers. So this is pretty much the process. You can go over this tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps and once you're done, you'll be good to go. I hope this video marvelously helped you search.